Hello there. There's lots of hot and dry weather to be found across Australia where we have seen late winter records broken because of that heat across more northern areas. We'll see temperatures continue to rise across the interior over the next few days. Look at that, 35 degrees Celsius in Alice Springs on Thursday. But we're going to see something of a cool down across the south thanks to a cold front sweeping into southern parts of WA, moving very swiftly across the bite towards that southeast corner. We're expecting some showers in Adelaide and Melbourne. And you can see a cool down there. But for Sydney and Brisbane, lots of sunshine and heat, lots of settled weather to be found over the next few days. And temperatures there continuing to rise for the likes of the north. Now, temperatures are sitting very high across parts of New Zealand. They will come down slightly in the days ahead. That's thanks to some severe weather sweeping into the very south. We've got strong wind warnings out here. Wintry and wet weather that lurks up western parts of the South Island into the North Island by Thursday, but thanks to the fern effect, we are going to see pretty settled weather in Christchurch, 17 degrees Celsius there on Friday. Now, the worst of the weather is set to affect Japan. We've got Typhoon Shanshan expected to slowly work its way towards Honshu Thursday to Friday. Hello there. We'll start by looking at the satellite image for the Middle East. And we've got dense cloud lingering around southwestern parts of Saudi Arabia and western Yemen, where we are likely to see more rain in the days ahead. Further north from this, it is a largely dry picture, very hot but dusty as well, thanks to a shamal wind that's expected to pick up Thursday into Friday, pushing across the Gulf states. Further north, it is a fine dry picture across much of the Levant. And it has been pretty dry across across the north of Africa, but we are seeing the arrival of some wet weather for the likes of Morocco on Thursday. And we've got warnings out for heavy rain and thunderstorms for southern parts of Libya. That central band of rain across Africa stretching further north than expected for this time of year, with heavy falls to come for Nigeria once again on Friday. Further south of this, it is a much drier picture, though we are expecting some wet weather to develop across eastern parts of South Africa, moving across Swatini, where we have got warnings out for lower temperatures in the days ahead. You can see that reflected in Johannesburg, only 17 degrees Celsius there on Friday. Much warmer and brighter in Cape Town at 25 on Saturday. That's your weather update.